Wait, what? That can't be right. Huh? I gotta get a new scale. Hey, it's Kurt. Welcome to my channel where I review fitness products, do a cost analysis on them, then give them my own rating from my own rating system to help you decide whether they are worth purchasing or not. I buy all my products with my own money, and if they are given to me for free by the manufacturer, I'll always let you know at the beginning of the video. People have been obsessing about their weight for a very long time. It seems like it all started for me in high school where people were talking about how much they weighed, how much they want to weigh, how much they thought somebody else weighed, and it seemed to have continued until my adult life. And there's good reason for it, and here is why. According to this recent article from Healthline with facts from the CDC, in the United States, 36.5% of adults have obesity. Another 32.5% of American adults are overweight. That means more than two thirds of our adult population is either obese or overweight. That is a lot of people. And according to this article from USA Today, just having 10 extra pounds on your body can affect your glucose level, your cholesterol, and your blood pressure. No wonder we are so obsessed about it. But there is so much focus on weight, a lot of us don't pay attention to the other parts of your weight that are so important, including myself. For example, what's your BMI? Your muscle mass, your fat mass, and how much water do you have in your body? When do you weigh yourself? Do you weigh yourself in the morning, in the afternoon, after you've eaten, before you've eaten? Do you weigh yourself at the same time every day? For example, I can weigh 169 pounds in the morning and then in the afternoon, I'm 172 pounds because I've eaten. The next morning, I'm back to 169 again. That's why these smart scales are so attractive is because they measure other things besides just your body weight. Among the many companies that make smart scales, the one I have been most curious about comes from a company called Withings. Theirs is called the Body Plus Smart Scale. and attaches to your Wi-Fi and your phone. It's a smart scale that pretty much measures everything I just talked about. Does it seem like a little overkill for a scale? Maybe, maybe not. But first, who or what is Withings anyways? Well, let's do a little exploring. Withings is a French consumer electronics company which claims to have developed the first hybrid smart scale, the first connected blood pressure monitor, and the first connected and hybrid smart watches, which were all made in collaboration with world-renowned institutions like the Sistance Publique Hôpitaux de Paris, Harvard Medical School, and Le Centre de Lutte contre le Cancer, Léon Bérard. To all the French people watching out there, I hope I didn't butcher your language too much. Withings is a French consumer electronics company that is now worldwide, and they specialize in health devices. They have smart watches to not only measure your vitals, but to gently vibrate and wake you up in the morning. Of course, smart scales to help you track your body composition and even get a weather update in the morning under the mattress sleep tracking, as well as watches to track your exercise schedule and routines and count your steps, of course, and hybrid analog digital watches to keep track of your schedules and vitals as well. They even have electronic thermometers that hook up to your phone and blood pressure monitors that hook up to your phone as well. All of their monitors and devices hook up to their app, which is called the HealthMate. And the great thing about that is it also can hook up with other apps you might already have on your phone. For example, it can be connected with your Apple Health app, Strava, MyFitnessPal, RunKeeper, Nest, and many, many other apps. Its founders, Eric Caril, Cedric Hutchings, and Fred Potter were all former executives in the technology and telecom industries. They've won multiple awards at CES, were voted one of the most innovative companies by Fast Company, and their products have been used in over 100 clinical studies. So they've got a pretty good track record. Now let's talk about the scale. But before we go on, can you do me a favor? Can you gently tap that like button if you feel like you're learning something from this video today? It really helps out with the YouTube algorithm and really helps my videos get out there 
and makes me feel just generally great. I really appreciate it. Now let's get to what's in the box. As you saw from the footage, the scale came to me and it's pretty simple really. It did come with these four plastic feet that you can put on the bottom of the scale if you need to measure on the carpet, but Withings does recommend that you use a hard surface. The first thing I did was read through the instructions which took me about five minutes and then it directed me to their HealthMate app which I downloaded and put the regular kind of stuff you would put in an app like my weight, height, age, etc also asked me what things I'd like to track. So I put down my weight, of course, body fat percentage, muscle mass percentage, bone mass percentage, body water percentage, and BMI, and connected my health app from my iPhone and my fitness pal calorie counter as well because my Apple Watch is hooked up to that and then it can count my steps and that kind of stuff. So it gets all that information and puts it in one place. So here's how the scale works. First, you stand barefoot on the scale, and then there's these little arrows at a point to show you where you need to put your weight so it can read your weight and everything else properly. And ta-da, that's it. It's really that simple. Then it comes back with the readings. It was really fun for the first time to see what my BMI was, my fat mass percentage, my muscle mass percentage, my water percentage, my body fat percentage, as well as my weight, so I can kind of take an overall view of everything. It was pretty incredible actually because I haven't seen those readings for me in years and I realized right away that my diet has not been so good lately and I have a lot of areas for improvement. Very sad, but hey, that's reality. You might be thinking to yourself, Kurt, that's all well and good, but what the heck is BMI and body fat percentage and muscle mass and all that other stuff? Well, here are some explanations of each. Body mass index, or BMI, is a health indicator used to determine whether you're underweight, a healthy weight, overweight, or obese when your weight is compared to your actual height. This indicator has been used for generations and has largely remained unchanged. Next is body fat percentage. This is the percent of total body weight that is composed of body fat in proportion to lean mass, organs, tissues, and water. Body water percentage. Your body water percentage is the amount of water in your body expressed as a percentage of your total weight. Bone mass. Bone mass is the weight of bones you have in your body only the dry, fat-free skeleton mass is taken into account. And finally, muscle mass. Muscle mass indicates the weight of muscle in your body. Muscle mass is composed of three types of muscles, skeletal, smooth, and cardiac muscle. There are charts for all of these different vitals that I'm gonna put in the description below so you can see where you are on the chart. Also, the link in the description will show you where I got each definition of what the scale measures. I do have to wonder how accurate the scale measurements are, although I did find this great article that spoke about it on the website Very Well Fit in 2021. The writer goes on to say, this scale claims to be highly precise with measurements within 0.2 pounds of your actual weight. I tested my weight with several other scales at the time and found that the two scales were consistently different, but always within one pound or one body fat percentage of each other. It also follows up with this. It's also worth noting that the method Body Plus uses to measure body composition, bioelectrical impedance, is generally considered accurate, though not as precise as other more expensive and time-consuming methods. After kind of getting enlightened by the scale, I did some more studying on weight and what it means. And what I realized is, like I said at the beginning, it's not about your weight exactly, it's about hey, how much muscle mass you have and how much fat you have encompassing your weight. I'm sure you've all seen people posting pictures of themselves on Instagram with before and after shots at the same weight, but having completely different body compositions. So it's something to keep aware of. So if you're gaining a couple pounds, but you're working out a lot, 
make sure to check all the other vitals to make sure you are on target. So after using this product for a little while, what are my pros and cons? First, the pros. The number one selling smart scale in the US, according to Amazon, easy to set up, up to eight users can use this at once, each able to get their own personalized data. The readings on the scale come up quickly, came with batteries, great support on the website, which explains what all measurements are in extreme detail. Now the cons. I'm not sure how accurate it is. I will need to compare this with a professional testing center to see if any of the results are different. Now let's get to my own rating system, the three P's, which is comprised of price, performance, and staying power. First, the price. What is the price of this product? Is it worth the money? After looking at the price of other body composition scales, which range from $119 to over $300, the Withings Body Plus scale is a steal at $79 on Amazon. It's hard to complain about that. For price, I'll give it a nine. Next is performance. How did the scale perform? It's a little bit too early to tell, so I'm gonna wait for a few months before I come back with this score. But it was simple to use and the HealthMate app was a huge help to read all of my vitals and get important information about my health. I like the way I can interact with the app and find out small doses of information. I found that if I chose to continue to get the small bursts of information, especially if I had the time, they always taught me something valuable. For performance, I'll give this scale an eight with an asterisk so I can do a follow-up three to six months from now. Finally, staying power. Is this a one and done product to be thrown away and never to be used again? Or will I keep it around for a while? It's easy to use and I really like the HealthMate app, as I've said before. It's also fun to check on my full body composition instead of just focusing on my weight. I look forward to using it in the future. For staying power, I'll give it a nine. So what's the final tally? Price, nine. Performance, eight with an asterisk. Staying power, nine. That comes to a final average score of 8.7 with an asterisk. Okay, I'm gonna end this video here. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, do me a favor and please hit that like button. And of course, subscribe if you want to and hit that notification bell if you wanna be notified of all my videos when they come out. They come out every Tuesday and Saturday, by the way. And if you guys have a product you want me to review and a whole bunch of you talk about the same product in the comments down below, I might even do a video about it. Finally, you can hit me up on Instagram at KurtFitFi, where I post at least two times a week on other things fitness. I'll see you in the next one.